सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स शिक्षा शब्द कोश ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू फर्स्ट एडिशन लेट्स लिसन टू चैप्टर थ्री क्वालिटी करिकुलम एंड असेसमेंट पार्ट टू पेज नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री फिफ्टी नाइन फॉर्मेटिव असेसमेंट द फॉर्मेटिव असेसमेंट इज अ फॉर्म ऑफ कंटिन्यूस असेसमेंट ड्यूरिंग द teaching learning process which helps to provide continuous feedback it is based on classroom observations and classroom activities such as role play project work quizzes group work assignment work classroom participation etc it helps to improve the teaching learning process one integrate teaching learning and assessment to focus on learning rather than evaluation of achievement 3 child centered and activity based pedagogy 4 focus on competency development rather than content memorization 5 non threatening stress free and enhanced participation 60 gamification gamification is an instructional approach that brings elements of playing a game into a classroom teachers may use game elements like gaining points or completing activities to move to the next level to motivate students often gamification's goal is to make learning more fun and engaging for students 61 holistic development developing a child's intellectual mental physical emotional and social skills intended to help meet daily life's demands and challenges as per para 4.4 of nep 2020 the aim of education will not only be cognitive development but also building character and creating holistic and well-rounded individuals equipped with the key 21st century skills specific sets of skills and values across domains will be identified for integration and incorporation at each stage of learning from preschool to higher education curriculum frameworks and transaction mechanisms will be developed for ensuring that these skills and values are imbibed through engaging processes of teaching and learning 62 holistic progress card hpc as per recommendations of nep 2020 hpc will be developed and will be a holistic 360 degree multi dimensional report that reflects in great detail the progress as well as the uniqueness of each learner in the cognitive affective and psychomotor domains it will include self assessment and peer assessment and progress of the child in project based and inquiry based learning quizzes role plays group work portfolios etc along with teacher assessment the holistic progress card will form an important link between home and school and will be accompanied by parent teacher meetings in order to actively involve parents in their children's holistic education and development the progress card would also provide teachers and parents with valuable information on how to support each student in and out of the classroom page number 
features of HPC. Participatory and learner-centric. Inclusive. A qualitative feedback. Builds on self-awareness and self-esteem. Tracks skills and competencies. Interdisciplinary. Flexible. AI-based software. 63. Information, Education and Communication, IEC. Aims to create awareness and disseminate information regarding the benefits available under various schemes or programs of the Ministry and to guide the citizens on how to access them. 64. Innovation Cell The Ministry of Education, MOE, has established an innovation cell with the mandate to work closely with our higher education institutions, HEIs, to encourage the creative energy of our student population to work on new ideas and innovation and promote them to create startups and entrepreneurial ventures. The innovation cell will focus on creating a complete ecosystem which will foster the culture of innovation across all educational institutions from idea generation to pre-incubation, incubation and graduating from the incubator as successful startups. This will also work on designing ranking systems to identify institutions in the forefront of innovation. Link of website available at https colon slash slash www.mic.gov.in 65. Innovative Pedagogy Pedagogy is at the core of teaching and learning. It is teacher's method of transacting a theme or conducting an activity to make every learner learn in stress-free environment. Innovative pedagogy is the process where teachers, uses or create pedagogies as per the needs and context of students, which may be termed as innovative pedagogies. These are innovative because these always involve some new components corresponding to the needs of students in different grades and from different socio-economic background. This new component may be a relevant story or an anecdote told by the teacher or child's experience shared in the classroom or a teaching learning material, or an engaging activity. So, any pedagogy which engages learners to learn in joyful manner, taking care of their learning needs and their socio-economic backgrounds and leads them to achieve learning outcomes may be seen as innovative pedagogy. It is integrative, multidisciplinary and inclusive. It leads to holistic development. Page number 55 66 Item Bank An item bank is a repository of test questions or items and any information pertaining to these items. It refers to the purposeful creation of a database of assessment items to serve as a central repository of all test content, improving efficiency and quality. 67. Kinesthetic Learning Kinesthetic learning links the process of learning to a physical activity. It is a learning style in which the learner has to move around, use his or her senses to learn more effectively. 
The methods of learning can be further classified into visual learning, auditory learning and read or write. 68. Learning Outcomes Ellos Learning outcomes are statements that describe the knowledge, skills and attitudes students should acquire by the end of a particular assignment, class, course or program and help students understand why that knowledge and those skills will be useful to them. The combination of knowledge, skills, attitudes and values from the competencies that are expected to be developed in everyone. They focus on the context and potential applications of knowledge and skills, help students connect learning in various contexts and help guide assessment and evaluation. LOs for foundational years, elementary and secondary level have been developed by NCERT and senior secondary level draft is prepared. Learning Outcomes at Foundational Stage HTTPS colon slash slash www.education.gov.in slash sites slash upload hyphen files slash mhrd slash files slash nippon hyphen bharat hyphen eng one Dot .pdf Learning outcomes at elementary stage https colon slash slash ncert dot nic dot in slash pdf slash publication slash other publications slash tilops 101 dot pdf Learning outcomes at Secondary stage https colon slash slash ncert dot nic dot in slash pdf slash publication slash other publications slash learning hyphen outcomes dot pdf learning outcomes at the higher secondary stage draft https colon slash slash ncert dot nic dot in slash pdf slash publication slash other publications slash draft hyphen lo dot pdf taxonomy of learning outcomes it should be a clear and concise statement of the skills that the students will be able to demonstrate after the instruction is over. LOs should be observable and measurable. A complete learning outcome will consist of an observable behavior or an action verb and any special condition for displaying the outcome. The performance level considered sufficient to demonstrate mastery. Test items prepared and matched to the ELOs assembled before starting instructions. Learning objects for learning outcomes. Lessons and lesson plans or instructional objects. Resources assembled through online and offline methods. Experiences, case studies, problem solving, simulation, etc. Page number 56 69. Language or medium of instruction Language or languages used to convey a specified curriculum in a formal or non-formal educational setting. 70. Large-scale learning assessments Large-scale learning assessments are system-level assessments 
which provide a snapshot of learning achievement for a given group of learners in a given year. Examples of large-scale assessments include but are not limited to India's National Achievement Survey, NAS, State Achievement Surveys, IEAs, TIMSS, PIRLS, OECDs, PISA, etc. are the large-scale assessments are usually sample-based assessments as against census-based assessments such as board exams in grades 10 and 12. 71. Learning Assessment Learning assessment is part of evaluating and monitoring education which refers to a wide range of methods and tools used to evaluate, measure and document learning outcomes and learning progress. It is about gathering information from multiple sources on what learners know and what they can do with what they have learnt. It also provides information on the process and context that enable learning as well as those that may be hindering the learning process. 72. Learning Difficulties Difficulties in acquiring knowledge and skills to the normal level expected of those of the same age, especially because of mental disability or cognitive disorder. 73. Lesson Plans Advanced preparation done by the teacher for the topic which he or she hopes to accomplish with the students during a particular lesson. It may list aims, main teaching points, media and resources, teaching and evaluation methods, etc. 74. Life skills Life skills are referred to as the ability and readiness to face and solve demands and challenges of everyday life. Life skills are defined as a set of abilities, attitudes and socio-emotional competencies that enable individuals to learn, make informed decisions and exercise rights to lead a healthy and productive life and subsequently become agents of change. 10 Core Life Skills as laid down by WHO are Self Awareness, Empathy, Critical Thinking, Creative Thinking, Decision Making, Problem Solving, Effective Communication, Interpersonal Relationship, Coping with Stress, Coping with Emotion. Page Number 57 75. Literacy According to UNESCO's 1958 definition, the term refers to the ability of an individual to read and write with understanding a simple short statement related to his or her everyday life. The concept of literacy has since evolved to embrace several skill domains, each conceived on a scale of different mastery levels and serving different purposes. 76. Literacy Rate Total number of literate persons in a given age group expressed as a percentage of the total population in that age group. For example, the adult literacy rate measures literacy among persons aged 15 years and above and the youth literacy rate measures literacy among persons aged 15 to 24 years. 77. Mandate Document for NCF The mandate document lays down the mandate for the development of the National Curriculum Framework 
NCF on the basis of the National Education Policy NEP 2020. It is intended for the use of all those involved in the process of development of the NCF across the range of rules. The mandate document proposes delineating the process of development and characteristics of the National Curriculum Forum NCF and providing clear and specific anchors for the NCF to the vision, principles and approach of the education policy. It describes the development process of the NCF, its expected structure and objectives and some of the basic principles from the NEP 2020 that will inform the development of the NCF which includes the National Curriculum Framework for School Education, NCFSE, the National Curriculum Framework for Early Childhood Care and Education, NCFECCE, the National Curriculum Framework for Teacher Education, NCFTE, and the National Curriculum Framework for Adult Education, NCFAE. Link of document is available at https colon slash slash ncert dot nic dot in slash pdf slash mandate hyphen ncf dot pdf 78 multi-grade classroom several grades or divisions are taught simultaneously in the same classroom by a single teacher 79. Multi-level classes When students with different learning backgrounds, languages spoken or even at different levels of learning study together in a classroom, it is multi-level class. In a sense, all classrooms are multi-level classrooms. 80. Multilingual education According to UNESCO, the term refers to the use of at least three languages. For example, the mother tongue, a regional or national language and an international language in education. 81. Mother tongue instruction. Mother tongue instruction generally refers to the use of the learner's mother tongue as the medium of instruction. It is considered to be an important component of quality education, particularly in the early years of the child. You were just listening to this audio. Chapter 3 Quality, Curriculum and Assessment Part 2 Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Technical Coordinator Bati Langlingdo Sound Recordist Shanu Muksim Narrator Bavla Kochar Guidance Vandana Arimardan Ajit Horo Production Assistant Ruchi Sharma Director and Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary This program is presented to you by CIET and CERT New Delhi, India.